it for the gram and Enneagram podcast YouTube page where we do it for the Enneagram, not Instagram. We make moves to improve our lives and those in our community. So in this really short episode, I just want to address where did the Enneagram come from? This is going to be one that's not very clear and not very specific because the Enneagram comes from a very complex, mysterious type of background. It is found in so many different places. It has ties back to Plato, Pythagoras, uh, Plotinus, um, and it actually has touched in a lot of different religions. Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism, Sufism, um, and uh, totally around this world. It's been found in places such as uh, ancient Egypt and a whole lot of different places. So these are just some of the places how the Enneagram came to be what it is. It's very mysterious and has a very interesting and rich and complex history, which is um, super interesting that something that doesn't have like a very well defined origin is so darn impactful in our lives and so true to our lives, which I find to be so amazing. And that's why it's a growth tool because it can be used in any portion of someone's life to help them improve. No matter what religion you're with, no matter what condition you're in, no matter if you're poor, you're rich, you're black, you're white, you're Asian, Hispanic, whatever. It can help you because it's a growth tool, which I absolutely love about it. So one of the big people who um, really helped to start his name is George Gurchief. And I'm going to put him down in the show notes so you can understand. It's like, oh, who is this person? And he was one of the first people. Um, who really started to kind of pull the pieces together of the Enneagram. Now, the way that he had an approach to it, because he was from Armenia, the way that he had approached to it was um, a little bit of poking at different people to see the responses that they would have. And so he did a really good job of figuring these things out because he kind of explored by poking at stuff and to see people's reactions to see how they would respond to certain stimuli and certain things that you would do. And so that's how he figured out a whole lot of it. When you talk about the Enneagram, talk about centers of intelligence, you talk about all these different things, Gurchief, he is the primary guy who really started to put all these different things together. And so if you're looking to really study that component of it, look no further than him first. And then next, I would say he kind of passed that on to Oscar Ichazo, Oscar Ichazo of Bolivia. And Oscar Chazo is another person who who did a lot of work to kind of put it together. And then he started to, as he got the pieces together, more of what we know as the Enneagram, he started to share it with small groups of people because he didn't want them to share it to a lot of people because he wanted to make sure that not only did he have the information like 100% correct, but he wanted to make sure that just with the people who were just learning it, that they had a really strong grasp of what was going on. Because sometimes when you learn something new, you go and spread it, you're not 100% sure, and then you kind of water it down. And so you have to be careful about that. So that's what he was really worried about. Um, now, did that really happen? No, because people get so excited about helping people and figuring out like who they are and who other people are that they kind of spread it before, um, before he really wanted them to share it. But that's okay. One of the people that ended up with this information is the person who we know now um, because of the modern day Enneagram of what we have, especially the subtypes, and that's Claudio Naranjo. Oscar Chazo and Claudio Naranjo recently passed, matter of fact, um, but they have added so much value. Claudio Naranjo, from, um, originally from Chile, he moved to California in America, and he started to teach the Enneagram to people who are the big pillars of the American-based development of the Enneagram as we know today. One being Helen Palmer, Robert Oakes, A.H. Almas, Sandra Matry, um, and other people like David Daniels. And you, if you go further down, you will see that it's a, a major connection to major teachers who are doing the work now. They're all connected somehow to Claudio Naranjo, who did a whole bunch of development and work in helping us to understand the Enneagram of what we have now. So I say this because it's super important to understand where it all came from. Right now, there's a lot of memes, a lot of fun things out there on Instagram and different pages. And what would this person do in reaction to this? You know, these type of things to have fun. Um, but it's really important to understand the roots of the Enneagram as much as we can so that we understand the basis and the foundation of how we got to where we are so we can do a little bit more research and see really what is behind all of it and how it can really help us to grow and improve our communities. So thank you for listening to this short episode and I'll put all the list of people I just mentioned down below so you can do more research on that because I'm not going to do a video deep 
on all of that because that's a whole lot of different history and a whole lot of interesting stuff but you can do the research on that i'll put it in the show notes and make sure to subscribe hit that bell so you can catch all the latest notifications when i drop a new video or a new podcast episode thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day and remember do it for the gram bye